I mean, isn't this special? ISN'T IT SPECIAL?! Welcome to 2013, Toonami fans. When I start thinking about everything we've been through together, it makes me kinda... blue. So... I made a video called Outlaw Star, The Mistreatment of Outlaw Star. And I triggered the Tanami Faithful. And the title of the video might be called Johnson Triggers Tanami Faithful. And that's all I'm going to call it because it's pretty much self-explanatory. If you don't know, let me pretty much keep you all up to speed. So, like I said, I made a video called Outlaw Star this mis was mistreated or Tanami mistreated Outlaw Star. And I have some points where they have. And this is my opinion. This is what I think. And, I, again, I could be wrong, but it looked like I wasn't the only one. So, I want to thank Wildfire. Not Wildfire, but Wildflower. I don't know why I keep calling him wildfire. I need wild flower. Flower, not fire. Don't know why. I guess because I want to call you fire. But a Taname faithful agoon goes by the name of CJ and hashtag uh, goon. Um, also, follow him at Johnson92. If you knew, follow me at Johnson92. Hey, please and thank you. Um, we would all. His name is CJ. Um, he's going to be at Anime Boston 2018. You probably say how I know this. Well, he this this dude put it in his damn uh, username. Which I mean, seriously, if you really want people to go see you that badly, just 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 put a damn map quest and we'll find your ass. Anyway, the point is, I'm going off topic. This is what he writes, and I'm gonna try the best. To say it under him, I think I've seen him a couple of videos before. He he does mostly the interviews and stuff for Tanami, which lately they haven't been doing many interviews. But he's the guy who, cause um doing the question per se, say hey, what's next for Tanami? This this or that, and um he's not that very good at asking those tough questions. I don't think that's just me. If you are a Tanami fan, do yourself in favor. Yeah, he says favor and stay away. From Jaws of Hood Day Pool videos. The most unformed opinions about the block I have ever heard. Awful. The most informed opinions about the block. The misinformed. Like I said, the Outlaw Star one. I made that video because I stated I was going to make that video months ago. Now, if y'all been subscribed to me, y'all know. That video was coming wow. This has been been coming up till like when it was going in. I even said it back in what was it? October or November. That I was going to make a video because I wasn't happy how things were going. But most of y'all know that. And I believe the fool got triggered. Oh, excuse me, the goon got triggered. I don't know come on. The fool goon. And um I want to thank video game uh lover 58 uh dude Dude, uh, he was commenting, he said, well, he did have some valid points about Outlaw Star mistreatment. Let's be serious here. They could have done a Outlaw Star marathon. They really could have. But again, I don't really know how all of this is working out with the marathons and stuff now. Um, from what I hear from sources have told me and from what other people have been saying online is that Tanami's budget is so low now that they have to rely on marathoning Dragon Ball and Cowboy Bebop. Because I think Dragon Ball, they have a contract where they can marathon it for free. And then for Cabo Bebop, it's 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 free. Because those motherfuckers pretty much own that to the point where I think if they do a Cowboy sequel, Bebop sequel, it goes straight to Tanami. It ain't going nowhere else but Tanami. Because I think they own half, some part of shares with that series. I'm not sure. I, I could be wrong. But the way they treat it, like, they own it. Um, but this is what he replied. I love Star Wars, not mistreated. If you believe that, believe that, then cool. But you are living in a fantasy. Now, he said if you believe that, cool. Pretty much you have a title to your own opinion. But the second, he, he just pretty much negate that and said, nah, your, your opinion is not valid or anything like that. So I'm not really sure how that's going out with that. So, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how, how that work or anything. I mean, the dude said, you're living in a fantasy land. 
Then he comes out and say, if you believe that, cool. So pretty much he's saying, it's your opinion, but your opinion uh, is not valid, pretty much. I guess that's the best way of saying it. <clears throat> and then he goes on to say, marathons don't matter. Dude, they, they matter, because if they didn't, we wouldn't be getting Dragon Ball Super Marathons and Kai Marathons up the ass so much. Hell, half the time, those marathons do better than a damn block. What's that saying? And then why did you... Yeah, whatever. You are comparing the two most popular titles. And then Video Gamer was talking about Super and Samurai Jack. You do, look, I'm just going to say this right now. The reason that he... I'm, I'm I'm on Video Gamer. The reason he says Super and Samurai Jack and pretty much anything Dragon Ball related, that's the only marathon we got last year. If you go back and look at marathons, those are the only two. Jack, you got twice, I believe. Or was it three times? I think it was two times. Dragon Ball, if you're not counting Kai, three or four times, and Super was about two or one. I'm not too sure, but those were the only ones. No other show got marathons. Nothing else got a marathon. I could be wrong. Correct me down below. But I, I don't think I am. But if I am, just go ahead. And then CJ comes out and say, blame the fans because that's what they wanted with Dragon Ball. Look, the fans asked for... Oh, the fans asked for Super, I think. They didn't ask for anything else. But, um, oh, excuse me, I gotta drink some water here. Even if I was editing, I probably wouldn't be able to because I'm on my phone. But, um, the fans asked for just super. No one asked for Kai. No one asked for Kai. I don't, I don't understand where he's like, fans asked for this. No one asked for super. I mean, no one asked for Kai. They only asked for Super. No one asked for that. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what is the, what is this dude's coming from? He's saying he blames the fans. I'm like, well, okay. What do you blame the fans for? I guess he's saying he blames the fans for favoritism. Um, um, for Dragon Ball. And again... You know, getting Dragon Ball is a smart move because if they didn't get it, someone else would. But I think he misunderstood. He, he he fans want Super. No one in their right mind asked for Kai and Super at the same time. They asked for separate. I don't think no one asked for oh they should air Kai and that together. I I I, I do not see that online. Not new. I could be wrong, but I don't I don't see that. Um, and. You know, he, he now he's shifting the blame to somebody else. So it's pretty much, and then he goes on a tirade saying, "Oh, my show is so good, it deserves everything positive." No, I Love Star was a show that was asked by the fans for about twenty twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, about five years. It's a show that I think resonated with a lot of people who grew up with the block that they wanted the block not to um be that old but they wanted the block to remember what got them where they were today you know the dbz's the um the gundams the sailor moons the Al they said we don't we don't mind the new but we want the old to be mixed in with the new which is understandable because it comes on once a week but um i think that has changed in my show and I'll let you run your television block and let Tanami do their thing. It's been around for a while, so I think they know what they're doing. Now, and that's where CJ ends it here, because he, he pretty much got, yeah, he got, he got messed up. Now, <laughs> on that note, and I'm going to be real with y'all, um, Tanami is, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know where to begin. Now, he said, oh, Tanami's been around for a lot, oh, for a longer time. It has, but it has also disappeared, too, because of, of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm. Uh, 
not getting the right material or uh, what's the better word I'm looking for? Mm. I know. Um, over saturation of a certain show. I think the biggest was uh, a la N A R U T O. I think that goes uh, without saying. Do I blame that on the um, um, the crew? Now I, I blame more so on um, on the network, but you know, you know what I'm saying. That was one. Um, even though he says it's been around for a while, it can disappear, and it might be. And don't mistake, it won't be. Just letting that know. Yeah, I ain't gonna come out to say Outlaw Star is not the greatest, but it was mistreated. It was very mistreated by the by Tanami Company, and I think um, it just needed to be said. And I I feel that people are getting upset because of my opinion was either they hate my opinion because um, I'm totally wrong and they know I'm wrong. It was in their mind they it's mistreated right, or they know I'm right. And they just want me to shut the fuck up because that's the pretty much the motto these days. Um, if you don't like it, don't watch it and shut your mouth, pretty much. Which is a stupid motto, which I don't like that. And uh, what's the name? CJ reminds me of somebody of that. And I wouldn't be surprised if he he's that type of person who likes that. You know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. That that motto is stupid. I think it's one of the worst things on the planet. You if you have an opinion. Express it, let it be known. Because if you don't, guess what's going to happen? You know, you let things keep going the way they're going, it get canceled. Then people look around like, "What happened?" Guess what happened? Y'all didn't say anything, and then it got canceled. Just saying. But on that note, I will end it. Um, but word to the wise, um, CJ. Next time, if you want to say my name at me, please, so I can know and be verified, so I won't be told. And trust me, I'll have a response for you. Um, and to the rest of the Tanami faithful, um, I have no issues with y'all. I'm just doing my thing and expressing my opinions and observating and see what I see. And again, may, am I wrong? Maybe. Am I far off? Probably not. You know, it's more of observating and seeing, you know, cause again, history will always repeat itself in a different form or fa of fashion. Do I think Dragon Ball Z would be the new Naruto of Tanami block? The death of it? You no, know, but quiet is kept. Adult Swim is already setting those seeds up for setting. Oh, this will, no more marathons of anything else. Just marathons of Dragon Ball Z. And people are sick of it. You know, then when you, you talk about Bebop, I mean, that that, that is ain't enough. But on that note, guys, like and subscribe. Peace. Have a jump today. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. This is new. Take it away. Thank you. Come again to Teen Titans Go. Never Johnson D.